let us learn how you can create ytd calculation for a financial year in the previous video we have learned how we can create the financial years from calendar years so you can check out that video where from the dates we converted the financial years so in this example we are creating financial year based on the year starting from 1st of april ending with 31st of march so we have created these columns for the quarter fiscal year uh fiscal year fiscal quarter etc okay now let's learn how you can create a ytd calculation for financial year if i simply create a table here let's say this table and okay so we have the fixed financial year and month. If I put sales over here, so this shows me month-wise sales. And if I need to know, let's say, if I simply put YTD sales and if I create a measure here, let me do that. And if I use the function total YTD, with sales as the expression and in date I can use the date column so if I include YTD sales here it is sales for the calendar year YTD right January then February includes January plus February, March is January plus February plus March, and so on. Okay. But I want it to be YTD based on the financial year. So it should be giving the first month as April. Then it should be accumulating the sales. So for that, we can create another measure. You can use calculate sales, but this time we'll use another function which is dates YTD. Dates YTD, it is this function is specifically used for the financial year calculation. So the date column would be the calendar date column that you have. But here we need to specify what is the year end date. So I can simply specify my year end date, which is 31st of March. So here, now you can see that this is correctly being calculating from April as the first month, then accumulating the values from April all the way till March. Okay. So this is how you can easily create YTD calculations for the financial year. Thank you and see you in the next video.